Hello guys, good morning everyone, or good evening everyone, rather, or good day. Um, on this video, I'm going, it's not, it's not about trading, but as a chemist, I'm a chemist by uh, profession, and I teach actually, um, let's dig deeper into the drug called acetozolamide, okay? This drug, it's just a generic name of acetozolamide. And what does it do and what does it treat this kind of drug? So um, another thing that I'm going to discuss today is the condition called HAPE. It's called high altitude pulmonary edema. All right. Um, we go this. Listen, listen, guys, because this might be a, uh, a good information for you as to what's going on. But um, Let's go to HAPE and what is HAPE? HAPE or the high, high altitude pulmonary edema is a condition wherein an individual, whether you are healthy or not, mostly healthy, uh, they experience like lack of oxygen in the high altitude area, all right? So uh, if it is like, high altitude area like in the mountain so they experience those kind of condition and let's let's go and uh check what is the what is this condition what are the um um the symptoms and what's going to happen to you okay high pressure edema okay here it is i'm going to share to you guys really quick so the um there you go. What is a high pressure um, pulmonary edema does to you? So um, the symptoms are the following. Shortness of breath, coughing, weakness, decrease in exercise performance, chest tightness and congestion, crackles and wheezing, blue skin color, tachycardia, tachypnea, and sometimes death because of lack of oxygen. And we know there are conditions lately, I'm not going to mention what, but this viral infection that kind of like, you know, almost exhibit the same condition as what it is, you know, um, shortness of breath and lack of oxygen, which causes death, all right? So I browse around and look around some information, especially in YouTube as a chemist, you know, I like to do some research and going around and I look out and I was looking for the ACE2 inhibitors, which is the medication that treats high blood pressure, like Captopril, Lysinopril, I, seen, I saw, uh, yeah, those Pril medications, okay, they, those are ACE2 inhibitors and they block kind of like some kind of like a blocking mecha mechanisms to you know uh, between the two channels so um i will not dig into that deeper because that's not the point here so the next thing i'm going to let you know is you know uh the hip and i'm going to show you guys a quick slide of what hip is all right let's uh i'm not going to go through the whole slide acute mountain sickness okay so let me share this really quick and i hope these guys can give you some information and probably you know maybe it's a, it's a life-saving event or information who knows i don't know i'm not a doctor i'm just an ordinary guy and uh, just did a little bit of information and research there you go and just try to connect the similarity between this condition and what's going on on people who have uh, the condition of what this virus brought to. All right, definition, acute mountain sickness. AMS is self-limiting illness, which results when an acclimatized individual ascends rapidly on high altitude. So what does it do to you? So poor HVR, mild AMS, cerebral vasodilation, severe haze or blood brain barrier compromise and cerebral edema headache nausea vomiting symptom dizziness anorexia malaise you become weak insomnia weaknesses and headache these are the conditions anorexia dizziness 
and throbbing by temporal occipital worse, nightly vomiting worse, and it's tightening of the chest and a lack of oxygen. So dehydration and our viral syndrome, like you have that feeling like uh, you're like kind of like sick, exhaustion, medication and carbon monoxide poisoning. So those are some of the similarities. I mean, the, the symptoms, all right, headache. Uh, there's headache, some of the treatments, okay, AMS, and they have this medicine called a Diamox, which is a acetazolamide, okay, Diamox. What does it do to your lungs? All right, um, I will not go dig deeper that one because that's really further in detail, but here's one thing really interesting, guys, okay, about the acet tazolamide okay i'm going to show you this and you would be surprised hopefully all right all right um there we go let me share that let me share this one really quick There you go. This is what I read. This is from the, re, uh, you know, just researching on curious.com. It's one of the publication actually, and you can browse their different articles as to, you know, different medications or um, something related about medicine. So um, here's what it is, guys. This is what I found. So it's a junk therapy. You know, there's no treatment for the COVID yet. I and mean, it would take probably about a year or two. Or, yeah, hopefully it's going to be less than a year to treat, to, to kill the virus itself. So for the meantime, we are trying to ban aid, you know, how to mitigate and alleviate the people who are suffering from lack of oxygen, um, because that's the number one killer for them. Like once their lungs are really filled up with fluid, then their lungs starts to like, you know, not absorb much of the oxygen. So you see that if you can read it, acetazolamide in the Philippines, it's also a high blood pressure medication. And this, and their utilization as an adjunctive, adjunctive is not actually the treatment, but can help. That's what it means. Help countermeasures in the treatment of coronavirus disease in 2019 or COVID-19. So my question, guys, is maybe, you know, we our doctors need to have a look about this medication. Like maybe there's a promise for this one. So this is this is just a product of my kind of like researching around different websites. You know, it might be crazy. So yeah, these are the things. So this is what I found, and maybe it could help. Who knows? So another thing that um, I'm going to share you is what this medicine treats. And we go back to this one. It treats actually, let me just stop that one. Let me share the screen really quick. Um, there you go. This is the Diamox. So it increases oxygenation. Okay, another thing that we found out too from further research. Okay. La da da. Maybe this. Sold under the trade name Diamox, among others, is a medication used to treat glaucoma, epilepsy, altitude sickness, periodic paralysis, idiopathic intracranial hypertension, heart failure. It doesn't say anything about treatment of, but it they have the same or, you know, people are suffering from um, the viral infection lately, exhibit similar 
um, um, similar indication as to people are suffering hate. Okay, again, hate similar with people who experience hate. Okay, again, what is hate? Let me go back to hate. Let me go back to hate one more time so that you would see it. What am I actually talking about and what is hate? Um, hate is a high altitude sickness. It can actually kill somebody because, you know, lack of oxygen can actually kill you. It can kill climbers and they are all grasping for air, grasping for oxygen, chest tightness and congestion because there's a lot of fluid formation up in there. And if they, if there's so much fluid up in there, then it's, it's like drowning from their own fluid. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So there's chest tightness. This is, this is the hape. Okay. Hape. This is exactly what the hape is. All right. So it's a um, uh, high altitude sickness. A lot of climbers experience this one. And a lot of this is also like one of the cause of mortalities of many climbers because they lack, uh, because of the lackness of the lack of oxygen. All right. These are the signs. So what is the medication that treat this? It's the Diamox. Okay. And what is Diamox? It's the acetazolamide. Acetazolamide. And here's the research. Maybe you think I'm just, you know, making some imaginations here, but look at that. Okay. So um, again, a disclaimer. I don't want to be chased with this one, but uh, just a disclaimer, guys. I'm not a doctor. And I have nothing to do with this one. I just found this out due to like viewing, and this is not this is not just a um, over like run rundown magazine or journal. It is curious. It's one of the um, like respected journal, like you know where people look for um abstracts and everything whatnot so this is acetazolamide with nifidipin so maybe nifidipin what's nifidipin it's a high blood pressure medication together with h2 inhibitors h2 inhibitors what are those captopril lisinopril all right so guys maybe it's time for us to look some other way around and uh, you know share this to your doctors and maybe maybe who knows i don't know i don't know i'm not i'm this is just a a little bit of research but there are people actually in the higher region in the u.s who got actually like their treatment they experienced or they suffer like they have similar um um symptoms as to and maybe they do have i don't know again i am not i did not do that research but um i just found out from several like browsing and researches in some different groups that hey they exhibit the same and uh, they use the medication and uh, somehow it helps them and um, yeah who knows this might be a promised medicine for the so-called COVID-19. We don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows until we test it. And at this desperate times and desperate measures, calls for a de desperate measure. So who knows? It's just around the corner. They tried malaria drugs and everything. Whatnot. Who knows? They even tried this. And I think you guys are familiar with this one. Ivermectin. <laughs> I have that. Just in case, ivermectin is, they said it's an antiparasitic medication for, um, you know, but they said will um, directly interact, their RNA would directly affect the RNA structure of the, um, the COVID-19. But we still don't know because they, it's still under study right now, that one. So this one the the one i showed you is not directly the so-called treatment of the covid 19 but most likely just to alleviate or mitigate um people's condition of lack of oxygen so who know because that's the number one thing that kills somebody who has the covid 19 right 
it's the lack of oxygen and they started to man when you when somebody got a lack of oxygen they started to have a lot of organ failures because our body needs oxygen okay our body needs oxygen and the only source of oxygen is from the air and that can be exchanged through our lungs and go to your brain so if you don't have that much oxygen because of the edema now edema is like a lot of fluid in your lungs already or pulmonary edema then uh, that's it that's the cause of mortality and who knows i don't know this medication if i can get access to medication but i'm not sure about it but maybe who knows just maybe guys just maybe spread this out if you know it might help all right acetazolamide that's this is the product of my uh, <laughs> investigative uh nights for not doing anything well i did something but who knows please share this guys all right please share this maybe it can help i don't know i may be wrong please correct me just yeah and do your own research as well maybe you can find something better than this one you know uh, there's already a, a lot of people doing some research about this um uh, let's like ordinary people actually doing like uh browsing information about this uh this medication and i don't know maybe it helps them and um again as from disclaimer i just saw this i just you know this is just a product of my research i'm not telling anyone guys that this is the medicine. no i that's 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 not right no this is just what i found in the internet and maybe and just maybe and hoping that it might be the cure like the cure just might be around us you know malungay maybe who knows people are so claiming a lot of like things because I'm, yeah but we don't know until you know there's a a study conducted to that one and studies would take about two years three years even five years like for 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 the vaccine itself would take about two years but would we wait for two years if you already have it that's all for tonight guys thank you for listening and this is p drew the chemist not the trader p drew the chemist thank you and you have a great day great night bye god bless you all and um stay inside your house until the final medication is like found or discovered thank you you have a great day bye bye